welcome home. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. I have some tasks to take care of this morning in the garden and I have a full day. So we got to get started. So I haven't been in the garden the way I should have been. I usually start as early as January sowing seeds and getting things going and growing. I'm going to be taking you all on all of my little adventures. I was out here um, yesterday and I was working on my corn patch um, and so this is a lot of work when you have to do it by hand. Now I see why all of that beautiful expensive equipment is so valuable on farms because this is a lot <laughs> when you have to do it by hand okay. So um, I definitely got started on that. Um, I will be planting some flowers in the garden today by seed. Um, I'll be starting some in seed trays because I haven't done that either. Like my cosmos, I'll be putting in my zinnias, my marigolds. Um, I generally use the giant African marigold in the garden, like on the garden borders because I have found that when I surround my garden with the giant African marigold, the deer do not like to cross through it. So therefore they won't eat anything that's in that vicinity because they don't want to pass through that marigold. I'm, I'm assuming it's the scent that they do not like and they do not want it on them at all. Um, I haven't even really seen them try to jump over it. They don't even bother really. Um, but they just don't want to pass through it. So I am going to plant the giant African marigold everywhere, as many places as I possibly can in hopes that by the time all of the crops kind of get up, the giant African marigold will be up as well and it will act as a hedge fence um, and a deterrent um, from the deer. come in for just a moment and bake some bread um, we're gonna do loaf bread today and I'm gonna take you through the process and show you how I make it come on making loaf bread is really easy it's actually quite therapeutic when you're in the kitchen and you're just relaxing it's only a few ingredients to make the bread so it's not stressful the process is not stressful at all. With a little yeast, flour, sugar, butter, egg, you'll have yourself some bread. Simple ingredients like salt and all-purpose flour or bread flour could be used to make loaf bread. I use either one and both of them turn out to be really, really good flour to use. It makes really excellent loaf bread. I use this bread when we're wanting to make something really like sandwiches or grilled cheese. You, know, you have your peanut butter and jelly or your French toast. This is an amazing bread that would be suitable for any of those type of recipes. It's also really good to use this dough for cinnamon rolls or um, any type of sweet roll as well. So it's really a versatile dough. All you need is a little yeast and you'll be good to go. This is a very beginner friendly, easy loaf bread to make. So if you're just starting out with making bread, this is definitely the loaf 
for you. I actually enjoy the process of kneading dough. It is fun and I love the way it feels on my hands. Um, so with really clean hands always in the kitchen, a good cook always makes sure that her hands are pristine when handling her food uh, or his food. But I love kneading the dough. So kneading the dough is actually something that I enjoy and I place it in my loaf pan, I'll let it rise. After it has risen, it is time to go in the oven. It only takes about 25 minutes to get this loaf to brown and be thoroughly done. It is beautiful. So if you would like for me to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make this loaf bread, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to take you through step-by-step -step process on making this delicious loaf bread. So for some particular reason, our hens have decided to lay their eggs in the back of the hen house. They don't use the nesting boxes anymore, and I'm not too sure why. I'll fill the nesting boxes up with the weed straw and shavings, and they'll just kick them out into the floor of the hen house, and they'll lay them in the back of the hen house. So I think that they just find it more comfortable and cozy back there. So I plan on creating a door in the back where I can open it and then I can harvest them from the back because reaching over is getting quite annoying and I just don't like having to reach all the way back there. But um, yeah, at least we have some beautiful eggs to harvest. If you think you know why they're doing that and they won't use the nesting boxes anymore, let me know. I would love to know if you have any more ideas as well. So these are bell peppers and I need to definitely replenish my soil. I'm going to put some garden soil down in here and I'm going to put some fertilizer in here as well.
So I've gotten a lot of work done in the garden today and I'm just going to keep growing, keep sowing it and keep going. And I hope you do the same like this video if you like it. And I hope you do subscribe if you're new and share this video with someone like-minded like you. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.